Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming today. Hey, this is a great tradition here at Stoughton High School. Really happy to be doing it again this year. This is your 2017-18 pep rally. Welcome, give yourselves a round of applause. At this time, I ask you to please rise, pay attention to the flag for the playing of our national anthem by our band. This is a very special time of year. I think that the, uh, the title of this holiday is very appropriate, appropriate is Thanksgiving. And, and being thankful uh, for everything that you have and your family has and have worked hard for and, and friendships you've, de you've developed and opportunities to have experiences just like this. Not every school has this. This is a very special thing. Uh, and I'm awfully thankful to be a part of it. And I hope you are too. And, and uh, this is going to be a great moment for you in your life. And, and uh, you know, we're really looking forward to, to doing it in great style today. Okay, so uh, congratulations to everybody on a, on a great fall. Um, a reminder that we are starting the winter season up when we get back from Thanksgiving. So best of luck to all the students that are doing that. They're looking forward to that. You know, someone who has been, someone who has been wildly supportive of everything we do here at the high school um, in every way possible is your longtime superintendent, uh, Dr. Marguerite Rizzi. She's here to say a few words. Give her a round of applause, please. Good morning, Stoughton High School. There is great energy in this room this morning, and we are going to bring that to Canton tomorrow and crush them. I, I know that's not very gracious of me, but there you go. Um, congratulations to the wonderful band, gold medal winners this year. Yes, to our band. And congratulations to our amazing football team and to all of you who have participated in sports this fall. Congratulations to every one of you. So, I just want you to know I have made a bet, as I often do, with the Canton superintendent, and so she will be buying me lunch in December after we beat them tomorrow in the game. So whether you are a senior and this is your last pep rally or a freshman and this is your first one, enjoy it and enjoy every moment of your time here in Stoughton High School. Congratulations on everything you do, and you do it so well. Thank you. Give it up for Dr. Rizzi. Thank you so much for coming down here. Uh, and we also have uh, some words from our fearless leader here in the office at the high school. Please give it up for Principal Miller. I didn't fit a gag, Alex Soto. You, may, you asked me for something a couple of years ago. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know, the one thing I do know is that you cannot spell Stoughton without the word tough.
There it is. Hang it tough. Give it up for administration. That was awesome. Thanks for doing that. So we got a few things to get to today. Uh, first thing that we're going to do, we're going to kick it off with, like Dr. Rizzi said, the gold medal winners at the MICA State Finals. Uh, please give it up for Mr. John Mange, the band, and Color Guard to perform right now. Thank you. Let's go.
All right, so we have this game tomorrow that's been going on for like a ton of years. Uh, we're actually in our 92nd matchup with Canton High School. It's a long uh, tradition. We have recently taken the lead in that, in that long-standing tradition. Uh, and without any further ado, we would like to announce uh, and welcome, give them a big round of applause to our football team. Let's go, guys. <laughs> classroom he is forever in our hearts. Uh, please give a warm round of applause to your varsity longtime head coach, Coach Greg Burke. Thank you very much. I'm trying to make this brief. First of all, I'd like to uh, thank the school committee, Superintendent Rizzi, Mr. Ford, Principal Miller, O'Neill, Mr. Bonte, Mr. Small, all the staff, all the family members, all the students, certainly the great seniors, and the Powder Puff group. <laughs> Special thanks to the cheerleaders and Coach Salucci, incredible job this year. All the coaches, Coach Woodruff, Coach Woodruff, Coach Perry, Coach Carew, Coach Evans, Coach Taylor, Coach Fazoko and Coach Horan. Unbelievable coaches and tremendous role model. I'd like to thank the field maintenance group. We were uh, sort, of the, uh, sort of on the road all the time. All our practice fields were at different places and I can't thank the field group for uh, helping us out. And all, all our trainers, Bob and uh, Shelby, did an unbelievable job with the marathon sports. I thank those guys, appreciate it. Final with Mr. Donio did an awful lot of work to get us get us a field and six six so-called home games. We had to travel everywhere. We were traveling man. That was sung by Ricky Nelson, if you know that. But uh, probably not. Who cares, Mr. Burke? This season uh, quickly, um, so we can get going. Was I'd like to have a moment of silence, players, please. We dedicated our season to all Stoughton departed football players who have been in this game for 92 years, who have always been with us through good and bad, and they're the main reason that we play this sport. Us, we, together. One, two, three. Thank you, gentlemen. I'm going to talk about our phenomenal seniors in their own right. Tremendous individuals, great students, great people. We didn't have one problem this year with anything. All the kids passed, which was the biggest, most important thing is they're hopefully moving on. Great job, guys, with the studies. Our 
Our first senior I'd like to talk about, this guy was the unanimous choice all-star, two-year starter for his number two, Rockin' Ruben Gonzalez. Come on out, Ruben. Okay, okay. I'm trying to make this brief. Wide receiver, sec, uh, first year for us, did a great job. Really has done a great job in the school. I'm real proud of him. Number 11, Anthony, the highlight show Amato. New player for this year, played running back, special teams uh, uh, linebacker, did a great job for us. Number 14, Alan the Thumper Theodot. Good, Alan. Next player, number 16, played wide receiver, defensive back. One of the real nice kids in our club, jumping Jackie Brown. Nice bow tie, Jack. Another senior played, unfortunately hurt for tomorrow's game. Had just had surgery yesterday. Uh, defensive back, wide receiver, number 21, Matt the Stat Hadley. Next guy played defensive back, uh, wide receiver for us, had a, had a great year for us, number 20, 29, no lion, Ryan Semla. <laughs> Unanimous choice all-star this year, one of our re uh, few returning players, two-year starter, uh, number 32, Jolton Jason Joseph. Two-year starter for us, was the unanimous choice all-star. Just came back, was hurt for a couple of games, unfortunately, but he's back. Number 33, Alex, show off, show Chris. One of our most improved uh, players, really worked very hard to get better this year. Played offensive line, defensive line. He told me his best game's gonna be tomorrow. Number 54, John Not So Jolly. <laughs> Sorry, Jolly. Okay, I'm not sure what that was all about. Thank God I'm not asking. Another player really improved himself, uh, worked very hard in the weight room, did a great job for us playing offensive line, tight end, uh, defensive end, number 59, Mike the Spike Anderson. This kid, uh, this player, unfortunately could not play this year due to a very serious injury. Was there three or four times a week. Never did, was not with us. Still one of the guys. And uh, he's uh, gonna lead us tomorrow. Number 63, Nick the Slugger Santa. This guy played center for us. Uh, uh, defensive uh, nose guy, did a great job, very, very improved. Calling the Punisher, Perry. <laughs> guy did a great job for us, filled in at center, played tackle, guard for us, defensive line. One of the real nice kids in our team. Number 71, Josh, the juggernaut, Colt.
Now to our captains, some of the greatest kids we've ever had as captains, tremendous leaders, worked so hard in the off season. So many people told us this year we wouldn't have a, uh, you know, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't have a good team because we lost, we did lose a lot of players, like every year. But these kids said that wasn't going to happen. So I'm proud of these captains. They let us. Okay, our first guy, our unanimous choice in the league all star, three, two year starter, number three, Dustin, Justin, no Dustin Lee. Next guy played quarterback, and I think he told me he was a defensive tackle. One of the real great kids. Uh, had a serious injury a couple years ago and came back strong. Number nine, Johnny Football Medina. This next guy really improved. I told him he was going to have to, have to change his name if he didn't have a good game. Uh, last couple of games, and he was outstanding uh, the last three or four games for us. Number 53, Anthony Triggerberg. Yeah. This next guy just uh, had a great year for us, played both ways. Got hurt during the middle of the year and uh, probably still a little bit hurt, but he isn't telling us about it. Uh, I want to buy cat, great kids. Number 66, Paul the Punisher, Feeney. Yeah. And lastly, uh, this kid played a uh, little bit last year for us too. Uh, played wide receiver. Uh, defensive backs had a phenomenal year for us. Colin Sunshine Sanda. And then final folks, um, we had over 90, I think 97 players this year. We really appreciate it. And the kids did a great job. I want to thank all the other teams in the fall who came to our game. It's very difficult for us to go to some of your games. The support this year on all our games is absolutely incredible. Cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much. And uh, Powder Puff, let's start this thing off tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. That's your head coach, Greg Burke. Thanks so much, Greg. Okay, uh, so part of this tradition is, is we get to hear from some of the guys who have really put in a lot of time this year. Um, and uh, we're going to call on those captains now to come up and give you know, a brief speech uh, heading into this game and what their careers here at Stoughton High School have meant to them. Uh, so we're going to start out. Please give, uh, and please remember this is, is not easy up here. Uh, and we appreciate everybody dialing in. So um, please give Paul Feeney a warm round of applause. I would first like to start off by thanking Mr. Donahue and all the work you do does not go unnoticed. Thank you. I would also like to thank the marathon trainers for helping us in the weight room and taping us up before games and keeping us healthy throughout the season. Thank you. I would also like to thank my coaches past and present for pushing me past my limits and making me the man and athlete I am today. Thank you. And lastly, I would like to thank my family for always being by me, by my side with everything I do and all the decisions I make. Thank you. Wow, I can't believe how fast these four years went by. <laughs> it seems like just yesterday, I was a freshman at Pep Rally, standing in the back, trying to see what was going on, looking up to Joey G and um, Ben Nacelle, giving their speeches. At that moment, I said, I myself would be delivering a speech my senior year. These four years have flown by. Before the season even started, we had doubters everywhere. 
It was this that pushed us to work even harder in the off season to prove them wrong. So by, by the first game, we'd be ready. The first game came before it even started. Coach tells us, the other team said, the horse is in the barn. Still to this day, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> but it was those words that gave us an extra push to help us start the season off right. After losing to North Attleboro in the playoffs, I realized something. No matter what happens, my brothers, family, and friends will always be there for me in tough times. I will finish my speech off with this to the underclassmen. These years fly by. Don't take it for granted. Enjoy it while it lasts. Thank you, everyone. I sweet together forever. Nice job, Paul. Up next, Justin Lee. Hi, everyone. Uh, first off, just wanted to thank my wonderful parents for everything they've done for me, all the support and the love and the time and effort you put into me, becoming the person I am today. I love you guys very much. I would also like to thank my siblings, Jasmine and Jonah, for making each and every day a special one. At the beginning of the year, many doubted our ability to have a good season. We were coming off the loss of an entire offensive and defensive line, a wonderful backfield, and most importantly, the incredible leadership attributes the senior class brought every day. How were we going to do it? We were the class that had to lead an entire team of football players with almost no varsity experience from most of our upcoming players. The truth is, we did it together. Everything we did during practices or games, we got better as a whole, and we got better as one. This year, I do not believe that we have one or two all-stars but we definitely had a large amount of dedicated, hardworking, and talented athletes. These are the components of a true team. The five guys standing up here today are only a small fragment of the leadership for our football program. For the time I've been here, Stone football has always depended on its seniors, the guys with the most experience, the guys who are a little faster and a little stronger, and the guys who plays every game like it's their last. I think that this season, every senior stepped up and did their job for their team. However, I would love to just give a couple of these seniors some recognition for stepping up and bringing positive energy to every single practice and game. Alex Schoquist, Jason Joseph, Ruben Gonzalez, and John Geller. Thank you. But I truly believe that every single senior could have been a captain this season because each one proved their dedication to this team and their mindset of winning as one unit. I'm incredibly honored to have played with such a great group of guys and couldn't be prouder to be a Black Knight. Thank you, everyone. Us sweet together forever. Thank you, Justin. Uh, give it up for Anthony Burke. morning. Uh, before I begin, I would like to thank my mother for being my biggest fan since the beginning of my football career. My father for coaching me and shaping me into the man I am today. He's not only coached me in football, but in life as well. I would like to thank all of my siblings, Allie, John, Josiah, and Nazir and Serenity for being my motivation. Finally, I would like to personally thank Justin Lee and Sarah Woodrow for helping me out academically. And without them, I don't think I'd be speaking to you all today. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Uh, my brother John, I wish nothing but the best for me from here on out. I've watched you since you were a young kid, and I know what you're capable of when the ball is in your hands. You have three years left here, which means you have many opportunities to do something great here, and I hope to see you delivering a speech three years from now. Always remember what Dad preaches to us. Take pride in everything you do, whether it's schoolwork or playing sports. Going into my sophomore year, I was told that I'd be making a change from fullback to the offensive line. At first, I complained about it. I'd rather be running for touchdowns than blocking every play. 
but the phrase that Coach Burke preached to us about us we together forever really hit me. In this situation, I was only thinking about myself, and I was not thinking about the team. And it's not all about me, it's about us and we. Making that move made me realize how much I really cared about the team and how much I would do, any, how I would do any for, anything for this team. My junior season ended short when I suffered a knee injury that silenced me for the rest of the season. But when I was down, my brothers were there for me always. Senior year was already a tough one. One of our many challenges, which meant the most to us, was never having any home games. But despite not having a home field, we finished the regular season off 5-2 and two and had one of the best defenses in the Hockamock League. I would like to share a quote that former Captain Guy had used in his speech in which I apply to my everyday life. Don't walk through life just playing football. Don't walk through life just being an athlete. Athletics will fade. Character and integrity and really making an impact on someone's life. That's the ultimate vision. That's the ultimate goal. That's the bottom line. Let's show the Bulldogs what we're all about. Let's make this town proud. Keep the trophy at home where it belongs. Us, we together forever. Thank you. Thanks, Anthony. Okay, we're going to welcome John Medina. Hello. Before I start my part of the speech, I'd like to thank my family. They, of all people, have put in a lot of work to help me out. And the amount of unconditional love and support they offered throughout the years will never be forgotten. I'd also like to thank everyone I have practiced with, not just to my teammates that have left me, but the one in past years. Oftentimes in the summer, Stone alumni have come back to help out with learning plays and techniques to get our game up. They haven't been appreciated enough. Summer has always been the time to catch up on sleep missed during the school year and to hang out with friends, but not for football. We wake up every morning and go train. We dedicate a good amount in the morning to work out, and at that time, you never realize the importance of the work. Every rep you take helps us get closer to the team's goal. Hard work will never go unnoticed. But often, the half-awake team does not realize it and doesn't go 100%. So to realize that when you're half awake, that in the season, you're going to need that work you put in right now and go hard at that moment, that to me is hard work, which helps build the team to where it needs to be. It's not easy not starting. You always question whether you try or not during practice, but you have to look at why you want to play. I don't think I went a week without getting asked once why I still play, or have people tell me that if they're in my shoes, they would quit. But it wasn't always about me playing games that was important. Whenever I thought I wanted to quit, I couldn't. One, because I'm not a quitter. And two, the te this team is special. These teammates help each other out no matter what and support each other with all problems. I learned what was important about this team when I got injured. Sophomore year, I broke my ankle and I was out for the season. At the start of my injury, I, was, I had my foot up for two weeks. I was stuck at home in sadness of what happened to me. To lift my spirits, my teammates came to my house and played video games to help me pass the time. It showed how much they care about their teammates. It wasn't just me, but when others got injured, the support was echoed by everyone to encourage them and to let them know that we are playing for them. And to have a team like that was a reason I could never quit on them. Soon enough, football is football, and someone gets injured. When Gibb went down, I knew what I had to do, and I have practiced quite a long time. It wasn't an instant click with my teammates, but as the week went on, we got closer and learned how to run the huddle my way. The games got easier as the minutes clicked down and we learned to run the offense with little mistakes. This team showed one of its best games, in my opinion, against Whitman Hansen. An exciting game where if, if we showed any lack of effort, we would lose. But we didn't, and we won. My advice to give anyone not starting in any position of a sport is to put your best foot forward no matter what, because you never know when you're going to get the opportunity. And as Coach says, we're only good as the next man up. So be ready to be the best next man up. As the season's coming to an end, which is always very tough, one thing that will last is the support and effort the team gives each other. One thing I know will be the best is giving a beat down to the team down the street. Every football player knows how important this game is and what needs to be done. With this team, I expect nothing less than a beat down on the Bulldogs. Us, we, together, forever. Thanks, John. 
Uh, last but certainly not least, give it up, Colin Sanda. What's up, guys? How are we doing? All right. So, as you all know, tomorrow will be the last game of football I'll, I'll ever play, and the last game for most of us seniors. But more importantly, it's the last time we'll step, on, step foot on the field together as a team. This group of seniors have been through so much together, and we built up a bond greater than anyone can imagine. Yeah, we fight a lot. Yeah, sometimes we make poor decisions. But we're human, just like everyone else. And at the end of the day, we're going to have each other's backs. We're there for each other through everything. Last year, one of our teammates went down with a serious head injury. Unfortunately, the doctor said he wouldn't be able to return. He was forced to sit the remainder of the season and this whole season, watching sadly from the sidelines, but still cheering us on. That, to me, is a true black knight. From, from early morning practices to passing league practice out in the hot summer sun, to going over Jack Brown's house or Matt Hadley's house for a swim, we spent every minute of the day together in the summer. And I, <laughs> I spent so much time away from home that my mom would sometimes joke with me and say, you need to spend more time with your family. But to be honest, this is my family. Every single one of them. I can honestly say I love this group of guys. That's why this game tomorrow is so important. After all the years we spent together and all those hundreds, maybe even thousands of hours of hard work we put in, this is what it comes down to. The last 44 minutes of football we'll ever play together. I'm ready to put everything on the line for these guys because I know, I know if I fall, someone will be there to catch me. Tomorrow we're gonna go out there and play for each other. Play for the student body who have provided us with endless support through the journey. Thank you, guys. <laughs> uh, play for our families. We'll always be by our side. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. All right, let's finish the season off in style while beating those Bulldogs. This one's for you, Nick. Us will be together forever. Thanks, Colin. Yeah, this is such a crazy time in your lives. You know, you, you're so thankful for everything you have, and it's, it's, a, it's a tough balance knowing that it's all coming to a close. So really taking it all in and enjoying every moment is really important. Nice job, gentlemen. Give them a round of applause. That was good. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a pep rally, OK? So it's time to start getting going, all right? Can feel that energy. All right, we're going to set the tone right now. Uh, this group qualified for regionals, a very young team under new coaches Steph Amaral and Lawrence Salucci. Give it up for your Stoughton High cheerleaders.
Please give it up for Miss Miller. This is, this is a big reason why we come here. This is a very special thing here at Stoughton High School. The moment we have all been waiting for. Please give it up for your Powder Puff cheerleaders.
You know, those guys worked pretty hard on that, along with our cheerleaders giving them that routine. It did not look like that yesterday. Job well done, guys. Give it up. That was awesome. Okay. At this time, I would like to introduce Alex Soto and Lauren Bertoletti to announce the winners of Spirit Week. someone here today. This wonderful person is one of the hardest working people I have had the pleasure of knowing and I know many students and teachers agree with me on that. She never fails to put a smile on anyone's face when they pass her in the hallway. She makes getting a silent lunch for not having your ID seem like a good time. She deserves so much for what she does so drum roll please. Hey guys, 
Hey guys, uh, we're from, we're Brian Peoples and Thomas Smith. We're from uh, Youth and Government, it's the new government club. Student Council allowed us to run the election this year for Superfan. We did it online, as you guys know. And we also got the, the prize. You want to really quickly? Uh, we got a prize for everyone who won. And oh, they are cool. Super fan capes. Um, thank you to everyone for voting online. We got a lot more votes than we expected. Uh, students, the person who won uh, represents someone who has the most school spirit and also what best represents Stoughton High School. Now on to Brian to give out the award. Can every super fan who comes up please stay up just to get a quick picture? Mm -hmm. All right, so our freshman super fan is Bridget O'Malley. Are you guys ready? Jillian Kimball! Jenny Volmar. Our senior super fan is Alex Soto. Thank you for voting for Superfan. Uh, we're just gonna go on the next. You wanna take a picture? Okay. Uh, uh, you guys are all set. Nice job. Sorry, Holmesy. <laughs> Week. This is the first year doing it, and we got over 2,500 items donated. So, in fourth place, bringing in 53 items, the
today. With 36% of the grade dressed up, the for attending today's pep rally. Congratulations, seniors. Best of luck, Powder Puff, today. Everyone have a great, long weekend. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy it.